All right, check it out. I am excited. First time on the channel alert, and I have had many friends in my life tell me that I need to review Capriati's subs. They're known for one specific sub. They're known for all their subs. It says right here, voted greatest sandwich in America. Do you put that on the bag if there's not some semblance of truth? But they're known for one certain one that's more like a seasonal thing. We'll talk about it. If you know Capriati's, you probably already know. I was going into this thinking I was going to try the Italian or I was going to try the Philly cheesesteak. I ended up, based on the owner's recommendation, in this bag right here. Let me take it out. That's an empty bag. You know what happens to empty bags? Oh, that was a power throw. All right, right here. The Kappa Strami. That's what they call it. Capriati's Capastrami. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. I've only had pastrami one other time in my life, and it was at an OG spot. I had it at um, Cat's Deli in New York. I am now going to have it in, in. I'm going to have it from Capriati's. So here it is, Capriati's. I'm pretty sure it originated in Delaware. They get their buns from nice buns, great buns. I'll throw it up on the screen right here. Uh, it is a bakery that they get all of their Italian rolls from this bakery. I think it's called Nice Buns or Great Buns, something like that. So here we go with the butcher block paper. All right, I went with the medium. It was $12.99. So that's a pricey sub, you know? And if the quality stacks up to everything I've heard, here it is, right here in this uh, wrapper. Let's go. Let's open it up. Shuck it. Oh, that looks amazing. Look at this. That just looks good. That's coleslaw. All right, let's get up close and personal with the capistrami. Every time I, the the salmon of capistrano, I always think of um, what was that movie? Dumb and Dumber. So. Let's check it out. All right, so I did uh, get that thumbnail. Let me get you up close and personal. There we go. Going to have pastrami, Swiss cheese, coleslaw, Russian dressing. And I believe she mentioned like uh, cracked pepper on top, something like that. But look at this. This is a <laughs> this is a hefty sub. It doesn't look like much. The um, The width of it. The length of it is probably like an eight inch. I didn't really look at their sizing, uh, but like I said, it's a medium and this is a hot sub and I'm excited to try my second um, time ever trying uh, pastrami. And I guess I'm doing it the right way. I had it at an actual uh, deli in New York, a famous one, Cat's Deli, and now I'm having it from Capriati's. All right, here we go. Wish me luck, the Capastrami over here at Capriati's. My first time ever. I don't know if I wanted to go like this or go like this. I got to do, probably got to do the Jersey hunch like uh, Guy Fieri. Shout out, not Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri. Here we go. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, does this get three oh my's? Wow. And like I said, I've had multiple, multiple friends over the years say, you gotta try Capriati's. And look at this. See the cheese pull in there with the Swiss. There's the top right there. I might have taken a little road trip to get here. Just saying, with a bike. Mm. 
Let me tell you this. I'm gonna put this on the bag. There's no one out there that puts this on the bag and doesn't believe it or doesn't have awards to back it up. This right here, the roll, soft, great bite through. One of the freshest rolls I've had in a while. Double throw. And then the combo of all this, and she even explained it. She's like, oh, there's something about it. And she was like, she was kind of uh, kind of explaining it like I do when I really get into something. She's like, oh, the, the uh, texture and this and that and the flavors. Wow. One more look. Thinly sliced uh, pastrami. <laughs> I'm going to go from the back end. See it right there? You guys know all about the back end. I'm going to go from the back end and work my way up and try to get a nice little money shot. But this is a half of the uh, medium. Like I said, $12.99. But I am okay with paying a little extra when you're going to get um, the quality and the experience that I'm getting right now and the flavors. Yes, please. Hmm. We have drippage. All right, so listen. Um, the sub that they're known for is called the Bobby, and it's one of those uh, prototypical uh, turkey uh, subs that you're gonna get like turkey leftovers or leftover uh, Thanksgiving uh, dinner uh, where you're getting the turkey that they are very well known for. The Bobby with the uh, cranberry sauce and the gravy and the uh, turkey and the cheese and these buns. It's called the Bobby. And it is their basically um, top seller. I think it's won um, awards, that uh, sandwich. I was going to start with that. But because it isn't, um, you know, around Thanksgiving, I wanted to give something else a try. But I'm definitely going to have to get back there at some point and uh, try the Bobby. But there it is. One more look. I am loving this. Right. Last bite. <laughs> dripping all right so i put the uh, butcher block paper down um in the nether regions let's just give this one a rating one to 100 we're going right in the flavors i don't know with the meat mixing in with that russian dressing just uh kind of pulling it all together i am tasting the swiss cheese which is almost unheard of in a sandwich like this because of everything going on and that is top tier coleslaw with just a little bit of tang mixing right in there <laughs> one to 100 wow this is a solid like solid put it in stone one to 100 a 95 i don't remember what cats would have uh, gotten if i was doing my um food reviews back then because that was like 20 years ago last time i had pastrami 20 years ago this right here that right there and i'd share with you and I love when the meat is finely shaved. All right. That's, I gave it a 95. Let me enjoy the last bite right here. Okay. All right. There you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word on my channel. Out to the masses. In closing... I guess if you know, you know. Salute Capriati's. I'm out.